This is now the third video looking at real world applications of a normal distribution. We're told the time a mobile phone battery lasts before needing to be recharged is assumed to be normally distributed with a mean of 48 hours and a standard deviation of 8 hours. In part A we need to find the probability that the battery will last for more than 60 hours. So let's write this out. I'm going to say that the battery follows a normal distribution with a mean of 48 and a variance of 8 squared. Consider we have now the standard deviation. The variance is standard deviation squared. So in the first part we need to find the probability that a battery will last for more than 60 hours. So we can now write probability of the battery being more than 60 hours. We need to convert this to the standard normal. And as we've done in all the other videos, we could write Z will be equal, and in this particular case, B minus mu divided by sigma. Or, if you like, B minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So subbing that in, what we're going to have, Z will be greater than 60 minus the mean, which is going to be minus 48, divided by the standard deviation. The standard deviation is 8. So all we're going to do is work out this value. So what we're going to have then is the probability that z will be greater. That's going to give me 12. 12 over 8, uh, what's that going to break down to? 1.5. So let's have a look at what that's going to look like. If I just uh, draw this up, we'll put 1.5 just here. We're interested in the area trapped under the curve to the right of 1.5. So it's all this stuff just here. So there we go. If we look up in the tables, we can find the area trapped under the curve to the left of 1.5. And this area right here is given as phi of 1.5. Therefore, if I want this area here, all I need to do is 1 minus phi of 1.5. So let's look at that and push out for the calculator. So we'll do 1 minus, and we're after phi of 1.5. So let's get our table up. Phi of 1.5 is 0 0.9332. So let's push that through, 0.9332. And we end up now with 0 0.0668. So let's write that up. Okay, so we're going to end up now with 0 0.0668. And that's the probability that the battery will last, or a battery will last for more than 60 hours. So there we go. Nice and straightforward. Okay, we now need to find the probability that the battery lasts less than 35 hours. So let's write this up. This time we're going to have the probability now that the battery lasts less than 35 hours. So again making a quick substitution what we can say is the probability of Z being less than 35 minus the mean which is 48 divided by the standard deviation which is going to give me 8. So straight through the calculator again we're going to have now 35 minus 48 and we're going to divide that now by 8. So we end up on here getting minus 13 over 8 or minus 1.625. As with the last video we looked at rounding this to two decimal places and then reading off. So I'm going to say this is going to be negative 1.63. So let's write this up. What we want then is a probability of z being less than negative 1.63. This is the generally accepted way to do it in the course. So we round that value now, and all I'm going to do is look that up. So if we consider what we're after, what we're going to have is something around here, and we want, let's just put that there, this is going to be negative 1.63, so let's put that there. So negative 1.63, and we're after the area. If you consider now looking around the other side, what we're going to see is the following. We're going to have our standard normal curve. We're going to have this point here, and this is going to be positive. We are interested in the area trapped under the curve to the right of this value. And that right there is going to be 1.63. We know our tables will give me the area trapped under the curve to the right. So this area right now can be given as phi of 1.63. So we've got phi of 1.63. Therefore, if I want this area right now, all I need to do is 1 minus phi of 1.63. So let's look at that in the table and just sub it in. So 1 minus, and we're now going to just check that out, phi of 1.63. So where are we? Uh, 1.63. There we go, 9484. So let's grab the calculator up. 0.9484. 
So all I've done is got five of 1.63, which is just there, and that's now going to give us 0 0.0516. So let's put that on, and we can now state that our answer to that one is going to be now 0 0.0516. One, six. So nice and straightforward, we've just plugged that in and we've made a quick substitution to the standard normal and solved for it. So quite a nice straightforward question on the topic.